Hello everyone and happy Friday. I hope everyone's doing okay. Hey, you had a good week and everything. So before I get into this quick video, but I just want to say I apologize for the fact that the uh, uploads I've been doing for the last week or so have been a bit scattering all over the place. Um, I uh, some friends of mine have moved away to Spain. And they've given me a new camera, they give me their old video camera, tripods, um, I've got an old monitor. Um, so, I'm just kind of pretty much trying to set a new work area up. Uh, because I, I kind of have plans to uh, try and involve myself a hell of a lot more on this channel that will come in time but as you can see by the title I just wanted to make my I uh, just want to make a short video on Charlie Gard um he I've just uh, I just seen news and uh, sadly he died today um now <laughs> no, over the last week or so, I've had countless, uh, countless conversations with different people about him and about the situation. And during conversations, I've tended to keep quiet and keep my opinions to myself. Uh, I have, you know, haven't come and made videos, voicing my opinions, you know, um, I just, um, I thought it would be better for me to say what I have to say now that he's, now that he's, uh, he died. Right, first of all, before people start twitching away, I'm not doing this in, you know, I'm not doing it in, uh, don't think I'm being mean-spirited or don't take this the wrong way. Uh, these are my opinions, you probably won't agree with me, but before you all start typing away your hate please listen to the whole video first then make up your uh, make up your opinions then at the end just don't be one of those knobbers who reads a title and then gets pissed at that without seeing the whole thing okay it's must it must be one of the hardest things you would have to go through as a parent. I cannot imagine I can't I can't even imagine it. I wouldn't even want to imagine what it's like. I don't have children myself. And there's the first bit of animation for people who want to have a go. There will be people who will be saying, because I've heard it before, they say things like, oh, but, you know, you because you, you haven't got children, you don't know. You don't know what it's like to have children, you don't know what it's like to make decisions, blah, blah, blah. And that and that's true. I have no idea about that. Not being a parent myself. However, I'm a person who has grown up with a disability, and I've had to watch my mum raise me as a single mother. And not only she had to raise me with a disability, but also with my sister having the same disability as me. Uh, so, and I've seen it from the other side of it. Now, 
the thing with the thing with the whole the thing with Charlie God when when it first became on the news and everything, I tried to I tried to um tried to do a bit of research into the um illness he had. And what with it being such a rare condition, I really could not find that much out about it. However, I did sort of find a, a kind of um, almost like a bullet point list of, of problems, I'm sure. And and it, you know, sadly there were her problems, and um, yeah, it's, yeah, horrific, horrible, wouldn't wish it on anyone. It started to get upsetting. And for me watching it when when the Pope and Donald Trump and American doctors were saying Well, we can we can see what we can do. We can offer a, an experimental procedure on him and And this is and this is where I disagreed with putting in a, the vague bit of hope into these parents' minds because the experimental treatment they they were. Uh, uh, they were going to try it out. <laughs> from what from what I could gather from it, if it was going to be successful, it wasn't, wasn't going to cure him in any way. It was just going to allow him to breathe on his own without needing a machine. <laughs> but he was still going to need, he was still going to need, still going to require 24 hour care. Still was, you know, and he, he was going to like to be deaf still, blind, couldn't communicate, you know, couldn't walk and run around. Parents would have to do everything for him. <laughs> but, you know, he was, but still be alive. <laughs> and now I was speaking to my mum and she's and I understand this that if you have a child with any kind of any kind of condition and somebody offered you any the slightest glimpse of hope then they will then they're gonna take it uh, push them for long I, I get a little bit frustrated I mean like when like with my condition they're they're there isn't a cure and they're you know researching into it and they're looking for an experimental times and they use the word cure and there's a lot of people with my condition who 
who are thinking, who think like, oh, if you find a cure, then, you know, ne next week I'm going to be up and running around and, and, you know, and uh, no, that's, that's not how it's going to be at all. If, if they were, if they were going to come up with anything like that, if they were going to come up with any way of reversing the gene, that'd be great, but you're still looking at like another 10 years of intense physiotherapy to even get into that stage, so... A cure is not the answer. Prevention is. And that's what I think. That's what I think happened with this Charlie God. Everybody. Everybody had the words. Oh, we want. Uh, we, we think we have an experimental. I don't know, I can't, I don't know what it was they were planted, but some kind of trial. We are, oh, we, we have this experimental trial. And that's enough for the public and people very close to it to misinterpret it, that as we have something that could probably sort everything out for you. And that's why, well, that's what I think happened with the whole media thing. Because it was such a public, uh, public event, if you're public now, not public event. Because it was such a, because it was such a, a media circus surrounding it. I think that it was very easy to to blow the tiniest, tiniest bit of hope and blow it up to the most important thing in the world, you know. You know, you got a doctor saying, we might, you got one doctor going, we might be able to help with uh, with an experimental 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 uh, trial, and that sentence can just be snowballed into <sighs> snowballing. Some you got these people who. Shouldn't really be involved in it, sticking their two cents worth and going, Yeah, well, a, doc a doctor said this, so yeah. Just... Basically, because this video is going on, I'm going to cut it short now. I I, I hope. I I hope I never have to go through through that sort of situation where I have to make a decision about somebody else's life. I don't want to I I I really wish and hope for that never to happen to anybody close to me or anyone just anyone in general, just people in different general. However, given the situation, I think it's important to look at it from the other side. And um, and I have, I mean, but, you know, pe people will say my condition's so much different from his. 
you know, and yes, it is, and yes, that's true, but I really don't think you can put a scale on disability, really. <laughs> um, and also, what you can see of my disability is only, is only scratching the surface, you know, there's there's my diabetes, my heart condition, there's my depression, there's all these things inside me that you can't look at me and go, that's what's wrong. And and I remember I remember being a teenager and being so so frustrated that People were going, running around, playing football, doing this, that and the other. And although, although I was still walking, technically, I had to sit out of it all because I, I, I couldn't do it the way I wanted to do it. Look at me now, you know, I, I've had to give up an entire music career, you know. You know, I've had to give up my guitar playing and everything, which really hurt me. But, you know, but at the same point, I'd be glad that I had the opportunity in the first place. Then you got to take, like, this Charlie Guard, you know. Let's, let's just assume that he was given this, um, he was given this experimental thing, and it worked. And it allowed him to breathe on his own. But he would still need all that care and attention 24 hours a day. And with that, it's, you know, it's gonna, gonna become more and more and more aware of the world around him. And it's going to, it's going to crush him that he's not a part of it and sadly there's probably the majority of people watching this video you're not gonna understand that you could you can say like I can imagine blah blah but you know what and you know, and I and I think I had it bad, you know. So, you know, I I'm, I'm glad he I'm glad he's dead, but uh, I'm glad he was um I'm glad he was allowed to. Finally, finally die peacefully in the hospice and all that. Um, I don't know. Look, that's just my opinions on it. Don't, don't hate on me because of. My views just seem to be probably different from the rest of the entire countries at the moment. But. It was a tragedy. It really was. 